Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Ling. Simple recipes, easy to make. You don't know what to make anymore, or you are tired of cooking. Today I'm going to share with you guys a very simple recipe I called Dinner in a Pot, and we're going to make seafood stew with noodles and vegetables. Let me show you the ingredients. I have a quarter of onion sliced, chopped garlic, and green onions. For vegetables, I have a few leaves of Napa cabbage. You can use the regular cabbage or bok choy, any other leafy vegetables you like. And I have one potato soaked in water. And this is a sweet potato noodles soaked in water about 15 minutes. I like this is a dry sweet potato noodles. You can use other noodles like a bean threads, glass noodle, wooden noodle, or ramen noodle. And here I have dry shrimp soaked in water. They look like this. And you can probably find uh, in the fridge section at the store. They are very flavorful. We're going to make a base with that. And of course, for seafood, a few shrimp and one cut filet. You can use any other fish you have. Yeah, and I'm gonna make a spicy, but this is optional. You can skip the chili powder or chili flakes, cayenne powder, and have some black pepper corns. And yeah, next, I'm just going to slice the potato and the fish. So for the potato, we'll cut into slices, but not too thin. I'm going to just slice the fish, but not too thin, like this. And we're ready to cook. We're heating up the pan to high. I'm going to add some vegetable oil, avocado oil. First, we're going to saute our onion, garlic, and white part, green onions, as well as our dried shrimp. Cook till they are aromatic. Now we add black peppercorn and chili powder or flakes. Depends on how spicy you like or skip this if you want it, you wanted to make it non-spicy. Now we add water. So this will be stew, so we don't want to make it into soup. Probably need a little bit more water. And bring this to boil. Now our soup base is boiling. Let's add some salt. And we'll start with uh, the noodles, because they take uh, more time to cook. And uh, Napa cabbage. We let this cook about uh, two to three minutes. After about two minutes, we add uh, potato. And the cabbage leaves. 
and we'll let this cook another two to three minutes. After about two to three minutes, we're ready to add our fish, shrimp, and we'll let this cook about another two minutes. After about three minutes, our stew almost ready. We just garnish with some green onions. And let me taste the broth. Mmm. Awesome. Just a little bit of salt. And a little bit of white pepper powder. Oh, seafood stew is ready. Looks so great, doesn't it? I'm going to try now. And you can serve this over rice. Since we have noodles here, I'm going to skip the rice. Let's have some fish, shrimp. Of course, it's a stew, you know. That's a difference from soup, right? We have some broth here, but technically you can also make it into a soup. Cheers. Mm. Noodles so good. For the fish, mm. it's spicy. As I said, you can skip the chili powder if you don't like uh, spicy. Mm. Cabbage, crunchy. Potato. Mm. Done perfectly. So if you use other noodles, like glass noodles or ramen noodles, they don't cook as long as this sweet potato noodles. So you can put it in like last. Mm. Should I try the shrimp? So please leave me a message below. Let me know what the you would like to put in this stew any other you know seafood or different vegetables mm. perfect isn't this simple to make if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.